Wild Kitty appeared, and today for you, I am bringing you a haul video today. Yes, so basically, I realized the other day that um, my last haul that I did was back in February, and or March, I think, I can't remember exactly when I did the video, it was either February or maybe end of February, start of March. Um, but yeah, I realized I haven't done one in a while, and yeah, for some strange reason I had a memory that I thought I did a March haul, but I clearly didn't. So yeah, so basically all the things I'm going to show you today are basically stuff that I got in obviously like March, April, May, June, all of that, but instead of calling it the freaking March, April, blah 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 haul, I'm just going to call it the fandom haul because yeah, I got a lot of stuff that obviously has to do with fandom related things and I just really wanted to show you guys them because I do love making haul videos, they're always really fun to film and also I love watching haul videos so I kind of hope you, that you guys like watching these as well. So yeah, so basically I'm just going to show you, like I'm not going to put them in order of month that I got them because honestly guys, I can't remember exactly when I got some of these items so I don't know if I'd be able to like tell you exactly. So what I'm going to do is basically, since this is a fandom haul, I basically have put stuff in like a fandom pile of like what fandom that the items belong to and just etc etc. So yeah, so let's hop into it so the first lot of fandom stuff that i am going to show you is voltron stuff yes when i was collecting all the stuff that i have not shown you guys yet i realized i have bought a lot of voltron stuff like my god have i got a lot of voltron stuff so yeah so i think it's very clear to say that i'm voltron trash I needed that on a t-shirt, like, does Redbubble do that? I don't know, they should, but yeah. But anyways, yes, let's start off with the Voltron stuff. The first thing I'm going to show you are just kind of little things that I got that are Voltron related. And yeah, so basically the first thing I'm going to show you is this little charm, which is of Pidge and Matt, and it's double-sided, so the first side you see here is basically just Pidge in our Paladin armor and Matt in his rebel gear and then the other side is back when um, Paige was just known as Katie with her longer hair and then just Matt in his normal stuff. So yeah, and also I really like this because the first thing is I will always find you and I'll always be there. I just, again, I adore um, Paige and Matt's like sibling relationship i think it is adorable i love it and yeah when i saw this in the sh in the etsy store that i saw it i just had to get this because oh my god it's just so so cute and i love it yeah i just find this absolutely adorable but yeah i will for all the stuff that i got that are obviously not like um official merch if it's just like fan stuff i will put it down in the description of where i got it uh, I think the person who made this is called Night Glimmer. Glamour, I think that's what it is. Okay, so the artist that I got the Paige and Matt um, charm from, what she normally does is that she likes to put some like free extra stuff in there as well. So when I got the charm, I also got this free Paige badge, which is really cool. I really like the art. It's really good. It's also like really, really shiny. But yeah, so I got that and she also threw in two stickers which are of Paige and Matt. I'm not going to show you them obviously right now because they're on my laptop, my heavier laptop. Obviously I'll show footage here, but yeah. Okay, on to the next thing. Okay, so the next item I'm going to show off is another item from the person that I got the Matt and Paige charm. She also does... She also does a lot of other Voltron stuff, and I saw this, which a uh, two friends of mine got got off of her. That's how I found out about her in the beginning. Basically, yeah. So it's this enamel pin, and yeah, it's really, really cute, and I absolutely love it. Again, me being a clan shipper that I am, I don't know if the camera's picking it up right now, but obviously I will, you know 
do a close-up better later on but yeah I just absolutely love this pin I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly with the pin because it's like I don't want to lose it but I'll figure something out guys don't worry I'll figure something out but yeah I just absolutely love this pin it's just so like shiny and so cute and I absolutely love it so yeah so that is my clads pin one thing I'll say about this pin if you are a clan shipper like I am and you really like this pin the only thing is I don't think she's selling them at the moment right now again I haven't been on the Etsy store in a while but from what I see I got the last one that she was selling because I saw that it was the last one and just had to get it because or else I was gonna lose out so I don't know if she's like if she's going to remake them or anything or she's already put it in I will look at Etsy again and editor Katie will put down like obviously text to say you know is it if she's still selling them but yeah yeah but again it's a really cute pin so I hope she makes more because yeah they're really good again they're just it's so sparkly and I love it because clads but yeah anyways on to next thing hey so future Katie here editing the video so basically I was originally just gonna put in text if you know the pin was sold out or not but I thought I'd just at least do a video maybe just to so it's a bit better so from what I've seen on the Etsy store the artist pretty much the clan's pin is pretty much sold out there doesn't seem to be any more so again I don't know if she's gonna sell it again or it was just a one-time thing I don't know don't quote me on it but yeah but again if you liked the matte and pitch charm she's still selling that so you're good to go on that and there's also like some Voltron like phone charm kind of things she's also selling so yeah so sorry if you guys really wanted the pin but it doesn't seem like she's selling at the moment but I don't know if she's going to obviously sell it anytime soon again I don't know the artist so I don't know but I just thought I'd let you know anyways back to past Katie anyways as I mentioned before like the artist likes to throw in some free stuff like of the stuff that you ordered and she does seem to go with like the theme of whatever you bought so basically um, I've only got two badges this time but honestly I'm really happy with these badges because it's basically I got a Keith one which is really cool and again I just love like the art of it I love how shiny it is and also she threw in a Lance badge as well which is again really cool and I really like it again her art is so amazing and I absolutely love it and again shiny of course but it's kind of obvious obviously why she would give me the Keith and Lance badges because obviously I bought a Clance thing I think she may do like right throw in other stuff as well again I'm not too sure what you get each time but yeah from I'm really happy and I'll probably continue to shop there at some point because she doesn't just do Voltron she does Digimon stuff she does Persona 5 but if you're not really that big on like Voltron stuff she does also um Persona 5 and some Digimon stuff and I think I've seen a few card capture Sakura ones so if you're a big fan of that anime she does stuff like that so yeah that is the artist. But again, I'll put her Etsy store in the description. Anyways, on to the next item. Okay, so the next things I'm going to show off is from another artist, but I got this stuff when I was at Paisley Comic Con, which I think was back in the... It was in April, I'm pretty sure I remember it was back in April. And yeah, so basically I'm going to show you the stuff that I got there. The, re the reason why I didn't do like a Paisley Comic Con haul was mainly because I didn't really get that much stuff. I think I literally maybe got like th maybe like three things from it. I'm pretty sure if I can remember correctly. If I've forgotten an item, whoops. But um, yes, yeah, so the first things I'm going to show you is not really the notebook but the obviously keeping in with the Voltron theme I got Keith and Lance stickers with that because I just absolutely love her art and I think and I just had to get these stickers and obviously she also did the bisexual sticker as well because I had to get this because me and being bisexual myself so and also I had canon that Lance is bi but yeah so obviously I had to do that but yeah her like her name is Guppy Arts I think I pronounced that right I've met her I think I've gotten her stuff before when I went to Rycon, so yeah, so I do probably plan on buying some more stuff from her in the future, so yeah, there you go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is again from the same artist, the Guppy Arts, uh, that I got at Paisley Comic Con, and it's this art of Pidge, 
and I absolutely love it because she's just so happy in it and again I just love the color scheme that she used for this and yeah and obviously there's her art name but yeah it's is really nice and I absolutely love this it is just so good and of course me being that I love Paige so much so yeah so got that okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is something that I got off of a website it's one of those websites that sell a lot of t-shirts it's not Redbubble frankly enough but basically I saw this and like really really wanted it and basically yeah it is this which is the Voltron D&D &D kind of inspired art obviously before we got the D&D &D episode in season 6 so obviously it's not like what they look like in the episode it's just the artists like what they thought they would look like but yeah I absolutely love this it, I just love like all the colors and just everybody looks so amazing but yeah it just looks so good like I mean I love the designs that they went for in the actual episode but this is still pretty cool too so yeah and also myself I do D&D &D as well so I like to wear this because it's two things that I like which is Voltron and D&D &D. so yeah so that's that also again I can't remember the name of the website but I will look it up and leave the link in the description so yeah Anyways, on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is actually a licensed um, Voltron product. And basically it is these, which are the Voltron Legendary Fender. He's ready to read books that they've been coming out with, with the stories that we know of the characters, but just in a story form. I know obviously these are for kids who, you know, are learning to read, but... I couldn't help myself because, again, I'm Voltron Trash, what do you expect? But yeah, but I also only got them because of the poster inside, and I, you're supposed to collect all six, which obviously is when, you know, all the others come out, but yeah. I'll see if I can try and show you guys the poster, but I'll probably show a better one later, but yeah, that's obviously Shiro, and obviously there is Paige. But I've, I'm not taking out the posters just yet. I am waiting until I get all six of these books so that I can put them all together. Cause yeah. So yeah, I know the next set of books are, that are coming out are uh, Keith and Lance and they have announced that um, Hunk and Alora's books I think are coming out in December. So yeah, again, I know I got a bunch of kids books but I couldn't help myself guys. I'm sure you, if you're all Voltron trash like me, you probably understand. But yeah, these are these. Okay, so now we are on the last Voltron item, and it is these, which are my cosplay shoes for Pidge. So basically, yeah. Technically, basically what I did was I bought these really, like, pure white shoes that I saw, um, I found a link to on this, a tutorial on how to basically paint, um, Pidge's boots. I got these It's re and just basically painted them myself and yeah they look really good and I, I'm really really happy with them because my old shoes were not so great but yeah I will say obviously it do come with zips so they can pull them on. I will also know if you like I will leave a link to where I got the shoes so that if you want to make your own Pidge shoes for a cosplay I will leave a link. I will say that there was a little thing here before, like this big gigantic thing, so I'd highly recommend obviously just snipping that off with a pair of pli pliers or something. But yeah, so far like these are really good and yeah, and it didn't really cost me that much to buy. So yeah, there is my pitch shoes. Okay, so that is all the Voltron stuff out the way. Let's get on to the next lot of stuff. So. The, the other stuff that I got, they're very fandom related, but I obviously didn't get a lot of bunches of them like I did with Voltron. So basically, these will just be, yes, they're fandom related items, but obviously they're very mixed in what fandoms they are. So let's start off with some fandom jewelry. Next thing I'm going to show you was a late birthday present that I got from my friend Rachel, and basically, yeah. So I got this, which is a Sailor Moon necklace with obviously the Mooncrest wand, which I absolutely love because it's, again, it's so iconic because obviously it's her first weapon and obviously it's my favorite weapon and I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. I absolutely love this so much and yeah. So I am really happy with this. So again, Rachel, if you're somehow watching this, thank you very much. But yeah, 
there's that. The next thing I'm going to show you is another thing that I got at Paisley Comic Con, and that is this, which is um, basically a card capture Sakura bracelet with, with the charms. I absolutely love these because they are absolutely so, like, they're really, really cute, and I love it. And yeah, it is just, um, again, I got this at Paisley Comic Con. I will leave the link of the, the store down below so that you can check them out because this person does a lot of like jewelry based stuff with like anime and just a lot of other stuff like also like animated movies so yeah if you live around the uk area you may recognize because i know i see that she does go to a lot of conventions so yeah there's that okay so the next item i'm going to show you was a gift that was given to me by my girlfriend jenny and I absolutely love it and I cherish it just so much because it is Kingdom Hearts which again if you guys maybe know I absolutely love Kingdom Hearts it's one of my favorite series of all time and she got me this and honestly I cherish it so much again Jenny if you're watching this again thank you so much and yeah and also also me and Jenny were talking about this bracelet it doesn't just contain Kingdom Hearts stuff it also has the colors of Voltron as well so we've got Clans together with the blue and red, there's Pidge and Hunk, and I think we decided that the black and white obviously represents Shiro. So yeah, so again, I absolutely love this, and again, thank you so much, Jenny. This is, it's, like, I love this, and I cherish it so much. So yeah, thank you very much. Next thing I'm going to show you is a keychain, which I got at Tokyo Toys, and it is um, Link from the Breath of the Wild, like, in his Breath of the Wild outfit, obviously. But yeah, I myself have not played Breath of the Wild because I don't own a Nintendo Switch, but I want one so badly. But I recently watched a Let's Play of, by Nico B and he played it and I absolutely loved his Let's Play of it. And honestly, the day I get a Nintendo Switch, Zelda Breath of the Wild will be the first game that I'll buy with it because I just absolutely love it. And yeah, so I got this keychain just because... I just have to wait a little longer until I have enough money for it, but yeah, it's really nice. Again, I don't know the artist because they don't really tell you the artist, but yeah, it's really cute. Next thing I'm going to show you is another art piece that I got from Guppy Arts, and it is this. It is a Kingdom Hearts art, which is Riku, Sora, and Kairi, and basically Riku is carrying them, and Sora looks terrified, and Kairi's just like, what the fuck is, what have I got myself into? But yeah, again, I love Guppy's art. Her art's amazing. Again, I hope to maybe see her at um, Rikon Winter this year, hopefully. But yeah, there it is in all its glory. Again, I'll leave her stuff in the description so you can check her out. So yeah, anyways, on to the next stuff. Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to kind of continue with the Kingdom Hearts theme. I really should have done that with the bracelet as well. But I really wanted to show you the Zelda keychain. So yeah, so the next... Kingdom Hearts item is this, which is Sora, which again, I showed in my Pop Funko collection, but of course I had to show it in my haul, just in case you haven't seen that, but yeah, again, Sora is my favourite character out of, like, all of Kingdom Hearts, yes, I know that's cliche to, like, the main character, but there is a reason, and he's just, again, he's precious, and I want to protect him with my life, and yeah, obviously this is why I wear his necklace basically every single day, I don't think you guys have ever seen me without this necklace, unless, obviously, it's one of my videos where it's just me talking from my glazed out, but you know what I mean, but yeah, I just had to get this because, obviously, I tried so hard to find a Sora, but like online he was selling for like 40 quid which is like no so i tried to look in forbidden planet but i couldn't find it so i got him at tokyo toys which was about 12.99 for him but still pretty decent price better from what it was on the internet but yeah i absolutely love this and yeah it's sora i love sora i had to get my precious boy but yeah, so I have Kyrie now, I have King Mickey, Donald Goofy, I just need to get the Heartless one, Pete, and obviously Riku, so that, you know, the Destiny Island trio can be together. So yeah, there's Sora. Okay, so to keep with the Funko Pop kind of vibe here, next I'm going to show you is my mini moon one keychain that I got that was also a late birthday present from Rachel, and yeah, it is absolutely really really cute i absolutely love it again she may be a little um 
She's a little tattered from last time you see her, but again, that's just because she's been on my bag. But yeah, again, she's just so cute, and I absolutely love it. And she's so small, and I love the fact, and also, I really want to get her pop figure because it's even, like, it's because it's really small compared to all of the other pops, but it's just, again, it's just so cute. So yeah, there she is. The next thing I'm going to show you is another present that I got from Rachel, and it is this, which is a Death Note mug, which obviously has the rules of Death Note, and it just turns around like that. So yeah, again, I absolutely love the anime Death Note. Not so much the live action movie, but I've already made a video about that. But yeah, so there is the mug. Next thing I'm going to show you are some wall scrolls that I got off of Wish and the first one I'm going to show you is this Persona 5 one of the main protagonist and obviously his Joker side and yeah it, this art is just so pretty I absolutely love it it is just so again the art is just so amazingly done and yeah I just had to get it because I realized I don't have a lot of Persona 5 merch even though obviously I do have my Persona 5 bag and my Morgana and all that but I don't have other stuff so I saw this on Wish and just had to get it. I thought it was going to be bigger but honestly I don't mind because it's kind of cute and yeah. And some of you might have noticed maybe in my last video that it was in the background. So yeah let's just put that back up. It happily just sits there. Okay so the next wall scroll I'm going to show you is another full scroll that I obviously got off of Wish and it is this. I don't know if I'll be able to fit it in the camera, but if not, I will obviously do another close-up later. But yeah, it is of Chiaki and um, Kyoko from the Danganronpa series. Obviously, best girl in the first game and best girl in the second game. Fight me. Actually, don't fight me, but apparently that's what you're supposed to say when you say that these are best girls. I don't know, but yeah. I just love this because it's just so pretty and gorgeous and I absolutely love this so much. I love the colorings and it just works so well. So yeah, that is my wall scroll there. The next thing I'm going to show you is this, which is Nino Kuni 2, Revan Kingdom. Yes, this is the sequel to Nino Kuni and the Wrath of the White Witch. But yeah, I absolutely love this game so much. It is adorable. Again, Studio Ghibli art is just so amazing. The graphics just look like you are basically watching a Studio Ghibli film, but you are controlling the characters, which I absolutely love. And again, I highly recommend getting this game. It is just, at the moment, it is basically my game of the year at the moment. But yeah, this is just so good. So yeah. On to the next thing. So the next thing, speaking of Studio Ghibli, I got myself Princess Mononoke that I got at CEX. So I got it quite cheap, I got it for a fiver. And yeah, again, I thought I owned Princess Mononoke, but I apparently didn't, but I finally got it on DVD. And yeah, again, Studio Ghibli films are just amazing and I love this movie so much. So yeah, I got this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is a t-shirt and it is this which is a car capture soccer one and it's basically yeah it's a wee pocket well big pocket with Kiro and a cloud card and obviously the original wand well obviously the necklace for it anyways but yeah it's really cute I think again I got it from uh, I can't remember but I definitely think it was one of those websites where it only lasted for a day because I remember a friend of mine sent me a link to it because she knows how much of a fan I am of Car Captain Sakura. So yes, yeah, so I don't think you can get these anymore. But again, these are just I just love it so much. It is just, just so cute. I still need I like I feel like I need to get more merch when it comes to Car Captain Sakura because it's another favorite anime of mine. Like I'm hoping because obviously we got the Card Capture Sakura clear card anime. I hope we get some Funko Pop soon because that'd be amazing. But yeah, but yeah. So here is some of that. So there's two more items I want to show off, but honestly, I would not count these as fandom items because I can't really think of a fandom that I'd put this in. But I really wanted to show them off because I think they're really cool. There are two more presents that I got off of Rachel. But yeah, so basically it is the first one is this mug which says, please do not annoy the writer. She may put you in a book and kill you. Yes, because I do write stuff. I write, um, I have some original stuff that I'm working on at the moment, but I'm obviously not going to say much because, you know, I don't know if I'll ever release it. 
maybe i don't know if you guys would ever be interested in me releasing a book but yeah so again i just love this mug because yes this is very true don't annoy me because i might kill you in a book but yeah anyways on to the next thing so the next item i'm going to show you is this which also i got from rachel and it's basically like ink stained like of a guy on a typewriter and obviously the words there are out of a dictionary and yeah i think this is really cool i love it it's at the moment it's on my bookshelf because obviously it has to be on my bookshelf but yeah i absolutely love this again rachel if you're watching thank you so much for it i absolutely love it but yeah that's what i wanted to show you okay anyways guys that is my fandom haul for you i hope you enjoyed it Basically, originally when it came to my hauls, I originally was going to have them like every month or every two months, but I realized there's times where I don't really spend that much money on stuff that I feel like you guys would be obviously interested in on seeing. So I think what I might do in the future is maybe wait until I have a lot of stuff and then make a haul video for you guys, unless obviously I go to like a big convention where I normally do save up so that I can buy stuff. So obviously when it's MCM, you're probably gonna get an MCM haul, but at this moment I'm just going to do like, wait until I've accumulated a lot of stuff and then just call it fandom haul because Mainly a lot of stuff that I buy has something to do with fandom in some related way or not. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe for more fandom content that you can shake a stick at. And see ya!